Hi there. <laughs> so I'm feeling extremely burnt out. I even look disgusting in this, this lighting. It's like I'm a pale monster. <laughs> no, but so this video is uh, just to explain to you what I've been feeling recently. So I've been feeling very burnt out, obviously. <laughs> With art specifically, that is. Um, I've. Whenever I'm practicing art, I feel inadequate. And this is just in general. Recently, I've been feeling inadequate and I lose motivation to even try to want to continue to even get better. And I try to go and do something else. And when I'm doing something else, I feel guilty that I'm not drawing. So I can't enjoy what I'm trying to do out there. And so it's like I, I can't be happy no matter where I am. And I think it's because I'm burnt out. Um, and I'm a big fan of Adam Duff. I've been watching his stuff for forever. And I love watching it when I'm... Uh, I love watching his videos whenever I'm drawing because it just puts me in the mood, you know, to, to create. Um, and he came out with a video recently about are you burning out and he in that video shares another video of this lady I think she's a psychiatrist that lists like 11 reasons or 11 signs that you're burning out and I, I had about uh, I think it's the same as Adam I had about 9 or 10 out of 11 so I, I'm pretty certain I'm I'm bur burning out of art because, and what she defined burnout as, and I think it's a really great definition, is when the reward of what you're doing is not equal to the amount of effort you're putting in. So in my case, my reward, because my expectation is, is unrealistic, I think that's what like I'm trying to be a perfect artist and I, I can't do that yet. Yet, ever. But I, I can't achieve that. And so it's, it's, uh, it's not achievable. So my reward, because I'm not achieving my goal, is not there. And I always feel like I'm failing because my goal is to make the perfect thing that's exactly in my head. I can't do that. The image that's exactly in my head. So, because that's my been my goal, I can't play. That's unachievable, and so I've been feeling drained and really burning out. And like even when I was practicing specifically fundamentals, it's even really hard to do that because that's still it's kind of a disconnected goal. It's like I'm practicing fundamentals just for the sake of getting better at fundamentals. And I'm not connecting that emotional goal of why I want to draw. So what I'm going to do, because I'm burned out, it's just really hard to even get myself drawing. I'm going to I'm going to take a break from drawing. And it, won't, it won't be long. I don't know how long it's going to be, but I know that the very latest I'll start drawing. The end, at the start of next year, so January. So I'm going to take a break from drawing and to really use the time that I would be drawing. For, I'm going to take the time that I have to redefine um, my goals, like why, understand really why is it I want to be art, what, an artist, what is it about art I want to do? And just from the little bit of contemplation I've done so far is I I think it's I really want to be a storyteller. And I really love telling stories. So that's going to play into, I believe, my art goal, what I'm going to try to redefine. Um, and I'm going to have, try to define smaller mini goals, like it's what I've sort of been trying to do, but I haven't really been aware of this. And try to have smaller goals that lead up to getting better that are actually achievable goals so I actually have a reward every time I'm achieving something 
so the effort is not just spent and discarded. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to do, and uh, see you soon. Thanks for being a uh, hanging around.